See, mommy's gonna film this film. Thank you, Lord, for this film that this video that mommy's doing. I just pray that it goes well. Bless us and give mommy the words in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Woo! Okay. Welcome back to Set Apart Style. As you can see from the title of this video, today is a chitty chat video and I'm talking about a massive life change to my life. Um, this might not be a big deal for those of you who don't know me, for, but for those of you who know me, know that I've been um, a professional woman working for a number of years, as do most women in the 21st century. Working is just, I think, a huge part of our lives now. And um, I made the recent change a little, just towards the end of last year. So um, around October, to end of October, just after my birthday, um, to actually just quit my job. So I gave my one month notice at the company I was working for. And I was working in marketing, branding and stuff like that. Absolutely love it. Um, I don't think I'm going to stay away forever, to be honest with you. So I just want to put this straight up in front in, in this video. So even as you're watching, you still have it in your mind, like what I'm saying, because in this journey of life and in this journey as believers, as disciples, things change. There's different things that the Lord requires from us and of us in different seasons. This season, I think, has been very clear for me and my husband that um, me being home is a is something that I, I want to do and it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. It's like a bit of design. I was like, one day I will, but I didn't expect it to be now and not at this stage, but it's happening. Um, and I'm just really grateful. Um, first of all, I've got Princess K right here, literally next to me. She's in her playpen, so she's playing away with stuff. She's safe. So, but if you keep seeing me throw my eyes over here, it's because I'm trying to show you the reality of being a mum who still wants to create content and do things that I love, even while being a stay-at-home mom. So yes, I'm a stay-at-home mom now and wife. Um, why did I make the decision to do this? Well, a number of reasons, really. There's not one solid reason. There wasn't anything drastic that happened. It even happened a little bit organic, I would say, slash I just had a really huge feeling that this is something that we should be doing. When I say feeling, I mean in my spirit, not just like in my feelings, like I feel I should do this. Can we just thank God for the light that's just, mm, the lighting right now and the hair. This is actually a silk press that I did by myself. It was actually more sleek when I first finished it, but I only passed the straighteners once. Therefore, it's still, it's started to revert slightly. So it's not gonna go pretty curly, but I'm really enjoying this kind of like, um, I don't know, this kind of like puffy, blow dried look, but it's not, it kind of feels like a yakky wig or a yakky weave, but it's all mad. So I'm very grateful to God. And also I actually gave myself a blunt cut very recently because I needed to trim my edges. So I've got a video that I'm gonna upload of how I did my hair, but let's not get distracted. Let's go back to what we're talking about. So being a stay at home mum, why did I decide to do it? Um, I guess it's just been a desire of mine to be more present at home. Like when I was on mat leave, it was during 2020, so the lockdown was here. And for those of you who don't know, I actually had a C-section with Princess K. Therefore, I was resting and healing from that in 2020 when I was on mat leave. And me and Arnold, my husband, we've discussed me being at home um, since since when we were courting. It was, Mama, you okay? You okay? Good. Mm. Yummy, it's yummy. Yes, it's yummy. So we had already discussed me um, being at home and what that meant for me. For me, it's the fact that I wanna be present. But I always said, I don't wanna be a stay at home mom and just do nothing and that's it. I wanna be a stay at home mom, but I wanna have a little side business on the side or do something with my husband together. But you know, I do also wanna have a, an opportunity just to be at home. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. This is the season of me just being at home. Um, I do have other projects that me and my husband are talking about and working on, which he is more leading on in this season, just due to the fact that I needed at least a few months just to 
just to think, just to breathe, just to pray, just to be a mom, because I felt like lockdown took away my opportunity to be able to be the type of mom I want to be to my daughter. We didn't get to do mom and toddler groups. We didn't get to go swimming together. I'm like, I want my daughter to swim. I can't swim very well, and I want her to be able to swim. Haven't been able to do that yet. So being able to be a stay-at-home mom was a huge thing for me because it means that I can be more intentional in the way that I parent my daughter alongside my husband as well. Um, so that was a huge factor. And I just felt when I went back to work, I had a horrible experience with the company I worked for in terms of coming back from mat leave. It was so horrible. I came back um, after 10 months of being off, even though it was meant to be 12 months. I came back after 10 months because I was ready to go to work. My brain had been resting. I was ready to go. And I came back and it was a mess. Um, the company was all changing up and people were just being very interesting. Um, and I just... I, I kept going, kept going. She had so many tears over it. Just And I'm not somebody who just cries over work. But it was so emotional and it was so challenging to come back and feel um, the way that I felt within the company that I was in. It felt like being a mum or going to have a child. I was being punished for it in a way that I felt I was being treated in some different situations. Not by everybody, but by a few people. Um, which then, in turn, finally made me think, I need to find another job. So I started looking for other jobs. But something in me was niggling at me about this whole spending time with my daughter, being more home, present. Because while I was at work and things were going well at work in my career, I always felt like something has to give. It's either my career is thriving. Yes, darling. <laughs> it's either my career is thriving and my home life and my maintenance. At yes, darling. My maintenance at home is not the same as it's supposed to be or how I like it to be or something has to give. So I wanted to be more present at home. I wanted to be able to cook the meals I enjoy because these are things I enjoy. I think every woman will be a homemaker in, the, in their own way. I have been for a number of years a professional woman and I enjoy being a professional woman for so many different reasons. I love using my brain. I love being challenged. I love working with different people. So I really do enjoy um, being a professional woman and I don't think I've quit forever I just think I'm on a break and that break could be six months a year two years five years ten years the Lord knows all I know is that I'm walking in step and I'm not afraid to say that I don't know the full picture but something that I know is God is with me my husband's with me he supports me when I got to the place where I was just like babe I can't stay at this company anymore and I think I just want to leave he was like Nash you're so capable of doing so many things it's really up to you what you want to do but we had that conversation and you know, we were, by God's grace, in a position whereby me leaving would not be a problem for us financially and things like that. So I was so grateful to God because it's always hard when you, you feel like you're doing something because you have to, not because you want to. And I got to a place where I knew months before that I don't have to be in this situation at work if I don't have to, if I don't want to be. It's a choice right now. And me and hubby spoke about it and he was so supportive of the decision I wanted to make each way, whether it me, was me staying or whether it me going. But the day I woke up and was like, I'm out. He was like, when? I was like, I'm quitting today. I'm giving him my notice as of today. And that was it. And so within a month, I was gone. End of October, gone. Um, and so I've been a stay-at-home mum for a few weeks now. I wouldn't say I've got the hang of it or I've even got a routine to be able to say to you, yeah, here's our routine, five steps to how I do. No, I don't have none of that for you. I'm literally going with the flow. Some days I feel like I'm just like, this is amazing. And other days I'm like, no, this can't be it. No, it, surely this cannot, this cannot be it. Um, it's definitely a huge um, sacrifice in some sense because obviously I could be using my skills and all of that stuff in a corporate setting. But the kind of skills I have, I'm able to use it broadly um, and beyond just working for a corporate company, which I love the fact that I can use the skills that I have. Um, you know, my background, I studied, I've got a degree in marketing and I've worked for over 10 years in marketing and branding um, for corporate clients. So I am very excited to be able to use those skills wherever I need to use it alongside my husband as well, doing creative stuff that we're working on some projects. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like I'm just going to get to explore different sides of me in a different way. But I think because you grow up in this school system and then you go into what working world, it feels very foreign to be a stay-at-home mum, especially because I am an ambitious woman and I have a can-do attitude and I like working. Like I like doing stuff. I like getting my hands into stuff. I like being busy doing things that, you know, I enjoy doing. <laughs> Please excuse the lighting. I think just the stopping and starting, lights changing, 
and I don't want to go get my ring light and stuff like that. Um, where was I? I don't even know where I was anymore. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself a little bit. I know that I've got skills that I can put into so many different things, but I've need, I just want a break. I need a break. I've wanted a break just to kind of redate myself as this new woman that I am as a wife and a mother. I feel like being a mom, there's, th there are parts of me that has changed and I want to get to know the parts of me that has changed and I need a minute. And the fact that I have the opportunity to pause I'm grabbing it with both hands because I know this is not forever. My, my baby girl said amen and she's clapping for me. So yeah, I'm grabbing it with both hands because I know that this is not forever. And I know that life changes, things change. Even, you know, me not working for a corporate company. I might never do that again. I might just... Uh, <laughs> mm, yummy. I might just continue to, to not work for a corporate client, but we'll see. This is not so much about what I am or not going to be doing career-wise, but it's more just to give you that update that I am a stay-at-home mom, so you might see more content about what I get up to with Princess K because we're still defining what that's going to look like for our family. Um, but one thing I, I, I have had is a few questions from my sisters that know that I've been at home and it has been like, what's it like, Nash? And I'm like, it's actually really lovely. I love waking up and knowing that I don't have to do certain things. Like I don't have to be sending emails out to a client or a customer just yet. I'm sure that time is going to come, but for now, while I'm just taking in this this period, this season, this moment, before I jump back into doing projects, like I said, even if it's not working for a corporate kind of and being an employee, the fact that I know I will be doing more work um, in the areas where I have um, a skill set in, I know that there's a time and the lighting is changing drastically. So I feel like I'm forced to have to get the ring light, so. Ring light it is. Now we have a ring light. So it is what it is. I try to avoid it because I love natural light, but it's just not permitting. Um, I wanted this to be a chit chat and that's exactly what it is, right? And I wanted you guys to see what my life's gonna be like. So if I don't show up on, on YouTube or Instagram, it's because I have a beautiful, beautiful, intelligent young girl who looks at me and needs me. And I wanna be there for her, but I also want to do stuff um, outside, not yeah, outside of being a mum, the things that I also enjoy. I don't want to, I don't want to let go of all of those things. So I'm still going to be showing up as much as I can do. Um, but yeah, I've been asked the question of what's it like, and it's really rewarding being able to be more present, being able to play with her, not feel guilty, don't have to be pulled away by anything else. Um, but it is also very demanding. Like I'm tired at the end of a working day. So even trying to hold up a conversation with Arnold, sometimes I'm like, babe, I, I just want to just binge on TV series right now because my brain just needs a break, okay? Um, so I really have to work actively in this season now to be like, okay, you're going to be, your energy is going to be zapped in a different way. So you need to make sure you're finding ways to still allow yourself to be in the word, still allow yourself to be poured into, because you'll think, oh, you're not working now, so you're going to have more time to do those things. I do and I don't. So I'm trying to find the balance of everything. I know the things that are important. I, I don't want to, you know, negate things that I know are very important for my spiritual growth, for my practical, my emotional growth. So I am working on those areas in different ways. Um, sometimes I do get bored. I think I get bored because you're doing the same thing every day, pretty much at the moment. That's not motherhood. That's just my routine that I have not yet worked on. So for example, we haven't started swimming classes yet. We haven't started some of the things that I want to start doing with her. When those things start coming into my routine, every day will feel or look different or every week will look different. Even if it is yet yeah, every Tuesday as we go swimming, things will naturally change just you know, the route might change, what we do before, after swimming might change um, and stuff like that. But for the moment, we are home a lot, local a lot and doing stuff alongside daddy as well. So it's, we're spending a lot of time together, me and princess or the three of us together, which I love. And like, these are the things that I wanted to cherish a lot more and I'm getting to do that. So I'm very happy. Um, however, yeah, sometimes it's boring because it's just like I'm at home. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, and I'm doing all the stuff, like the homekeeping stuff that I do actually enjoy. I think earlier on in this conversation, I was trying to say, if I forgot, but it came back to me, that um, I am a professional woman, but I am also that kind of traditional, in a sense, um, of some sort, <laughs> kind of woman who likes being home. I like being the keeper of my home. I like keeping 
my kitchen. I like um, making a meal, hosting people. Those are the kind of things like the skills or the thing, the things God has put in my heart. I love hosting people. I love cooking food. I love, I love cooking. Like I, I thoroughly enjoy cooking. I do have days where I'm like, I don't want to cook today. Don't get me wrong. But generally, I like the act of cooking. I like trying different cuisines. I like asking my friends, like, what country do you want us to go to? Do you want to go to Congo, Nigeria, Ghana? Let's go. I'll try something. Like, I love cooking. I'm always on YouTube watching cooking channels. So cooking is, is a huge part for me. Cleaning, there's some things I don't enjoy. I do not enjoy ironing. I do it because I have to, but I do not enjoy ironing. I don't mind doing the clothes washing because the washing machine is doing it. So it's just, okay, load one washer dryer boom and i like the folding i like the folding part <laughs> and i like um we like tidying it don't we baby yeah we fold the clothes together yeah and then we put it in your wardrobe and then she comes and messes it all up any chance she gets so that's my life <laughs> you okay mama have some water yeah have some water Lila Mai. where's my my is water in lingala so we try to speak to her in Lingala English. Well, mostly English, like 95% English. Every so often, a little 2.5% Lingala and sometimes Luganda as well because of Habi, who's from Uganda. So we speak a little bit of everything, but we're very open to languages within our family. Um, but yeah, so, so far I'd say I'm really enjoying it. If you were to ask me, okay, Nash, do you feel like you want to go back to work or be here? I'm like, girl, no, I want to stay right here. Um, but I've also gave myself a break from content creation since like the end of last year just to breathe. Um, so you'll find on my Instagram, I haven't really posted anything since hub hubby's birthday in November. I just wanted to not have to think about content, think about brands, think about anything other than just me, um, my family and um, those sorts of things as well. So now I'm getting back into a cerebral thing. So you may see me turn up and be like, hey, I'd love to give you guys a posting schedule. Like, I'm going to post every week at this time, but I don't know yet. So I'm going to play it by ear, see how it goes. And then once I kind of find my rhythm, I will be back and do another video, another chit chat to let you know what's going on. But most of my chit, my stuff probably be on Instagram stories because it's so much easier than sitting on YouTube, but I do miss YouTube. I do miss it. That's why I'm here today doing this video, although I've had all of this different lighting happening. I hope you can bear with me. I hope you found this useful. Um, yeah, I think maybe as time goes on, I might have more things I can answer in the videos about being a stay-at-home mom um, in this season that I'm in. Okay, high five, high five, high five. Hey! Hey! Yeah, so... I gotta go because my little human needs me. She's putting her hand out. <laughs> She's playing with me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go play. So these are the things we do. So, yeah, take this. Take that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go so I can actually be more present here now. Um, but thank you for bearing with me. And um, I'm gonna s show you the video, like I said, about my hair and how I did the silk press, how I did the, the blunt cut. Um, so you can see it, but I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I can run my hands through it. I can even let Princess, like, brush my hair. So this is just amazing. Um, but, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm really happy to be a stay-at-home mom. Although it has its challenges, it's, you know, the, the grass is never green on the other side. It's green where you water it. It's green where you pour in, where you find the joy of where you're in. So when I'm, I was at work, I found the joy. Although it had its challenges, like I'm away from Princess K, even though we were still in the same house because of lockdown and stuff, but the fact that I couldn't give her my attention, it was annoying. Whereas now I can give her my full attention, but sometimes I'm like, mm, my brain's like, it wants to work. But I'm also, I'm trying to learn the art of rest. You know, there's a scripture that always rings in my heart and in my mind since I saw it, which is, he gives his beloved sleep. Um, another vers version says he gives his beloved rest, but it's just the the fact that God's heart is for us to be workers, but there's also a need to rest. Doesn't mean you rest forever. No, we need to work to a point, but um, rest is also part of that. So in all of our getting, 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 and you know, trying to achieve all of these milestones, which are great, um, rest is important. And I feel like I've been going for a while in many different areas. Um, I needed a rest. So I'm resting for now, but when I'm ready to emerge again, 
Um, I will eventually be a stay-at-home mom who does something on the side, but for now, I'm just a stay-at-home mom for now, um, exploring my options or things I might do. But um, yeah, that's my little update. I hope you enjoy this, and yeah, I'll see you at my next video. Thank you. Bye.